Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a homogeneous plank of mass capital M and length L is released gently on an inclined rolling mill okay uh, consists of a large number of uniform horizontal cylindrical rollers axes of the roller are fixed parallel to each other in a plane inclined at an angle theta with the horizontal with a separation of small l which is very much less than capital L that is length of the plank between two adjacent axes the mass of the roller is m means each roller is of mass m acceleration due to gravity is g long time after the plank is released it acquires a steady speed v find the steady speed okay so what happens when you rest the plank on the mill rolling mill uh, gravity pulls the plank downwards trying to increase the speed of the plank but as the plank comes downwards it hits each cylinder each roller right and each roller applies an impulsive force trying to decrease the value of v okay but gravity is still acting and uh, due to that impulsive force there is a reactionary impulsive force on each adjacent cylinders trying to roll this cylinder in the anti clockwise direction okay now th we have considered that there is no slipping of the plank and the mill right so a time will come when all this each and every impulsive force applied by the roller by each roller on the plank tries to balance the impact due to gravity right so when steady sp speed is reached the gravitational force is generally balanced by the impulsive force of all the adjacent rollers right so let us consider that v is that steady speed fine and uh, at any instant at any one of the roller an impulsive force j is being applied on the tangent let r be the radius of the roller and this is the plank where gravity is acting along the in inclination an impulsive force is also acting on the plank trying to maintain its speed okay now the impulse on the plank should be equal to the force due to gravity times the time interval right time interval means time interval between two consecutive impulses due to two consecutive rollers okay let that time interval be del t so impulse is equal to mg sin theta times del t right i am writing this equation for the steady state now angular impulse on each cylinder is equal to increase in its angular momentum so angular momentum on each cylinder is j times r considering it as a solid cylinder which it should be m r square by 2 moment of inertia angular velocity that is considering there is no slipping so angular velocity should be equal to v by r we get the value of angular impulse now just put the value of angular impulse in this equation we get this expression right now what is del t del t is the time interval between two hitting two adjacent or two consecutive rollers that is axis distance between the two axis of two rollers is l divided by constant speed v so just put the value of del t here l by v so we get the expression for the steady state speed root over 2 mgl sin theta by small m i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel you should subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace take care